Hi, you lovely lot. Um, <clears throat> so you're probably wondering um, where the bloody hell I've been and <clears throat> what? <clears throat> oh, you're probably wondering where I've been. Um, and to be honest, I can't even tell you. <laughs> um, I've just not really been feeling myself lately. I've been. I'm really sorry. It's Thirsty for child and it's the cat. Come on, dig, dig. <laughs> you digs. Um, yeah, no. I've just... I've lost interest in everything. Um, I think it is hormones and a slight bit of depression. If I'm honest. Um, a lot of mum guilt. A lot of stupid, silly ideas in my head. Um... Not ideas, but like, what if Liv doesn't bond with a baby? Um, sorry for those of you if you're new. I was vlogging quite regularly, um, quite often. Um, and a lot of people have followed my journey to get pregnant and here I am pregnant. <laughs> um, and I'm not moaning about it because obviously this is something that I really wanted. Um, I just... My anxieties are like through the roof at the moment and it's been really hard to talk about. I have tried to sit down and film this loads of times. It hasn't happened. Um, Jace is currently at the hospital getting an MRI scan. So I just thought I'm just going to do it now. I'm just going to do it now. Um, yeah. I don't actually know what what is up with me. I think it is just like I, I have suffered with depression. Um, I don't even know what's going on with this curtain as well. I've just shown them to sort the light. Um, I don't know what's been going on, but I've been feeling like a lot of mum guilt. Like, how's Liv going to cope with the baby? Is she going to feel like I've ruined her life? Um, and what I mean by that is, is she going to, she's just been mean her, do you know? And is she going to feel like, not like shoved, yeah, like shoved out, like, oh my God, this baby's coming to my life and I preferred my life before the baby, do you know? And I don't know, I've just, a lot of, a lot of feelings like that, like I've been struggling to get excited. Um, I don't know if that's because we lost a bit, we lost a baby in December um, and obviously I had two miscarriages before Olivia. Um, but like, I'm not, I'm like forcing myself to get excited. Um I haven't bought anything for the baby yet and like this stage with Olivia I was like constantly buying like stuff and you know um we found out the gender on Friday so I'm hoping that then it sort of like hits me more and my, my instincts kicking a bit more um my hormones been through the roof I've been so emotional like I cry every day um Oh, I'm just so ratty and so argumentative. Like, Jace could breathe and I just want to rip his head off. Like, that's as honest as I can be. Like, the things... It hasn't been great at home. Um, Jace isn't purposely trying to annoy me or purposely trying to wind me up. But at the time, when I'm in that frame of mind or that mood, like, that is how I feel. Like, he's do it he's done this on he's not done it on purpose but why would he do that he just knows that that's just gonna piss me off and that's and that isn't like me i'm so laid back but like these few weeks i'm just so it's up about everything i don't uh, i don't know so i do feel really sorry for jace um and i really hope that this stops soon because it's absolutely ridiculous i'm really surprised he hasn't told me to f off and walked out on me um, I try to keep my mind focused like we've got chicks now um, so and I'm wanting to get back into doing my videos because that was what I was enjoying before and I want to start doing things I was enjoying again because I've literally just stopped everything I was enjoying and just got myself stuck in a rut and I don't even know I don't even know Like, we tried so hard for this baby and it's not that I don't want it. I do want it. 
Um, but I just don't know what's going on in my hormone levels at the moment and how I'm feeling. I'm worried about how Olivia's going to cope. And yeah, darling, just give me a second, baby. Yeah, I'll come look in a minute. Mummy's just busy. You want to come in the bedroom with me? Can I just have five minutes, darling? I'm going to come in there in a second. Sorry. Um, but yeah. I just don't know. I, I just hope that everything just settles down. I haven't spoke to my midwife yet. I am planning to. Um, but yeah, so that's where I've been. Feeling sorry for myself for no reason whatsoever. Because you try so hard for a baby. And then I've got this baby. Um, I just... I feel guilty for not feeling excitement. But I do feel excitement. But it's not all the time. And I've... I get excited and I'm like, shit, how's Liv going to cope? How's Liv going to feel? She's probably going to love it. She's probably going to be an amazing big sister. But she, she's saying stuff like, I don't want to be a big sister and stuff. Do you know? And I'm not blaming her or anything like that. She re just recently started saying it. But I don't know. But that is where I've been. And I'm really, really sorry. I've just, I just lost interest in everything. Um, and I didn't know how to get back into the swing of stuff. So this is me trying. Um, I have got an appointment, a 16 week appointment coming up with midwife. Oh, is it 16 week or? So? Oh, it's maybe 16, 17 week appointment. And I will mention how I'm feeling or how I've been feeling if things change um, at that appointment. Um, but yeah, so what I haven't shown yet is we had last for a week. How many weeks am I now? Okay, I'm 15 weeks and two days today. 13 weeks and six. Um, we had our 12-week screening appointment and we've recently just had our results back from that. And baby is fine. Uh, really low chance of Edwards, really low chance of Down syndrome. So that's really good. Um, baby, can you pass me them photos, please, of baby? Can you reach? Oh no. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, in a second. Oh, okay then. Nick wants to come too. Oh, come on then. Um, so yeah, so that's really good that we've got a really low um chances of that. Um so these are the baby photos, and I'm pretty sure we saw a little tiddler. What? Yeah, that's Mummy's orange, darling. You don't like oranges. No. Come sit here, then. A bit different. <laughs> Hiya, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, do you want to show them the baby? Yep. Here, then. I saw these bow out the maid. <laughs> Oh, yay! <laughs> baby. Baby. Is this the baby mummy's tummy? That's a bomb. And that one. And that one. Over there. And this one. And this one. <laughs> <laughs> and that one. Ay, that... Careful then. Um, so, yeah, so we've had the scan haven't we and what's ah. happening on friday yeah on friday we're having another scan to see the baby oh, and that's when we find out if it's a little girl or a little boy <laughs> what do you think it is a girl or a boy i don't want to have baby sister right okay that's fine <laughs> yeah we'll put it like that yeah just in case, come back. But in... Oh, yeah! We've tried talking um, to her about like how she'll help and be a massive help, but she, at the moment she's not having any of it. 
Um, Let me talk first. Go on then, you say I something. Need it. I got chocolate. You got chocolate? Maybe hold it. <laughs> what is this bag? <laughs> Sorry, she's gone. Um, but yeah, so we're having our gender scam on Friday. Um, I think knowing the gender will help me know, help help me bond more if that makes sense. I don't know. I know I'm being silly, and I know I I don't mean to be feeling like this, and I, I don't. I'm excited for the baby to come and everything. I'm just nervous. I think I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I can't actually explain it. I think it's because I'm. I know I'm going to transition from one to two. Um, but yeah, I personally think it's a little girl, although I did think I saw something between its legs at, oh, at 12 weeks gone, um, and Jess thinks it's a girl, though Jess still obviously wants a boy, um, I'm not bothered, it's just as long as it's healthy, I think that's another massive thing with me, is I just feel like I'm going to get attached and then someone's just going to take it away from me, like. I'll get attached and then something will happen. Like I've been listening to the heartbeat before scans and every like couple of days just sort of like I know you shouldn't use it as a reassurance thing and obviously past twenty weeks I won't use it for just reassurance. Like if I've got a feeling about something I will go get checked out. But at the moment it's sort of like Yeah. It's just like a reassurance thing. I think I'm petrified of them telling me baby's gone so yeah i don't know um for those of you that have followed for quite a while um my cousin who found out she was pregnant just before me she's found out she's having a little girl so got another girl coming in um yeah i've started to feel like little flutters little gas bubbles popping like that's like a little butterfly inside, like a bug or something. It's like a, someone's tickling me a feather in the inside. It really bizarre feelings, but I've been getting that anyway. Um, not as strong as what I got with Liv. Like the first, I remember the first time I felt Liv, I was 15 weeks and I was in bath and that was a real strong. And then it just got stronger after that. And that was it. This is like every now and again, I'll get someone. I'm like, is that baby? Is it not? And then it'll happen again. And then... Thanks, Digger. That was his tail. Um, and then it when it does, and then sometimes it happens, and I'm like, oh, that was baby. Do you know? So yeah. Um, I'm just really sorry that I've not been as cheerful and as my usual self being on and everything. Um, chicks are doing really well. Well, <laughs> they've started hatching anyway. We've got. 20 chicks due we've got three at the moment we did have four one died not long after birth yesterday um and we've just got this as well and it's just for um when i start hand rearing chicks it'll be so much easier um so yeah it'll just be like obviously i've got the humidity and temp set um but yeah so that'll be for when the chicks need hand rearing. Um, I'm trying to hand rear more this time because they don't, I don't know why, but I've had quite a few bad seasons with them in the shed. So yeah, I'm hoping that'll be on a bit more. Um, obviously, keep an eye on Friday because um, we'll be sharing a gender reveal video. Yeah, I'll come turn it up in a minute, darling. Um, we'll be sharing a gender reveal video on Friday and yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be a bit more here. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. Bye.